given that log m uh, log p base m equals to x and log p base n equals to y okay i don't know whether you can see this or not let me rewrite this they are saying that log p base m equals to x and log p base n equals to y okay so this is what is given here using the law of algorithm as a, using the law of <laughs> using the law of logarithm uh, express the following in terms of x and y so the question one is to derive i mean solve this la. so log p base m over n okay so the first step you're going to do is you see we can't really do much here because the m over n is at the uh, base okay so we, it's hard for us to just break it up okay so what we can do is we can swap the these two swap places so when we swap right it becomes a fraction so that means it becomes like this one over so because i make it become a fraction so now the p and the m over n will swap so the p comes down m over n goes up okay so why am i doing this so that i can break this up because we know that when when for log right for log when it is divide we can change it to become minus so it becomes one over log m base p minus log n base p okay i just break it up into minus because they are dividing each other clear all right then what we're going to do next okay let me just do here there goes more space so i i it's still not the same right this one is base m but this is base p so i cannot just make it become x correct so what i'm going to do is i'm going to swap the the two places again like how i did here just now how i swap so that i can make the uh, m and the n as the base okay so it becomes one over and it becomes fraction again one over log p base m minus one over log p base n okay so basically i turn it into a fraction again so that i can substitute this two lah. okay so now it becomes one over so now this one is identically log p base m is what x right we got it we got it here so it becomes one over x minus uh one over log p base n is y so one over y okay so now since they are fraction here we can combine to become one fraction so it times y make the denominator the same times x times x okay so when it is the same it becomes one over y minus x over x y <coughs> okay because they are already the same so what we're going to do is we are going to times x y times x y okay so that i can cancel this x y and what i will have is x y over y minus x so this is your answer